After getting all but two of the sister weapons, I've decided I'm a bit sick of going after the sister. So it's time to put this into invite only, go here and spend the next few hours trying to get a hold of the Grattler. Because I am not taking the Zaw yet, it may pop up with it, but I want the Grattler, which means running this mission over and over and over and over and over again. Finally, uh, I was literally giving this another six minutes and that would have been an hour of doing this. Okay, one Grattler acquired. Mistakes were made. I used Urelli, so it's got magnetic on it. This I will change in the future, possibly, but considering I just spent 56 minutes trying to get, the, sorry, 54 minutes trying to get this thing, uh, I don't think that will happen anytime soon. Annoying, annoying, annoying little person. Yeah, be gone. Okay, that lasted way longer than I would have liked it to because enemies don't stop spawning in this apparently. So there is, how do I put this? A catastrophically large amount of um, lovelings laying around. Lovelings? Uh, you, um, let me just, I'm going to die again, I guarantee it. You can see they are layered all over the place. There's one dead over there, there's one dead down there, there's a couple dead all over the place. Uh, yeah, the thralls are overkill. Well, it came with an ephemera, it looks like the toxin one, I could be wrong on that. Vengeful pull, it's the magnetic one, which I don't think I actually had, but the Grattler, finally. This has been an ordeal at best, but oh, you are mine, you lovely little orc gun, you. Be unlocked, please. Install a catalyst, yes. Weapon must have gravamag, install it, yes. Ha, and there it is. Blue, because magnetic. Yes, I know, I nearly missed it there. Um, It has 2% more crit chance, it has a slower fire rate, it has twice the magazine, it has two extra status and thus concludes the added bonuses because it, it's longer to reload, it's got smaller fire rate, it's got half the damage and even the radial attack is less. Building it for crit seems kind of pointless because yes it is going over 50%, I'm going to have to go crit for leveling this thing up, but it's only 54% with a 36 times multiplier and it's not doing an amazing amount of damage and sadly now has punched through because of that. So for leveling it, have basically gone one less for the crit chance. That needs to be in there for leveling this more than anything else. And okay, it's not bad damage wise, but uh, I have lost the punch through, which is probably for the best for leveling this, because as good as it actually is, so bat rounds, uh, even though I lose it every time, is kind of a nightmare for this weapon because the punch through is going to take away from the, the radial attack. And yes, I know, it is pretty petty to turn around and say the biggest downside to the Kuva Grattler is the fact you cannot take it to Elite Sanctuary Onslaught and use it. This is something I was hoping they would have fixed. If you have it hotkeyed, you would be allowed to use it. There is certain gear that should be available during Elite Sanctuary Onslaught, like your Gravamagd Orc Gun would be great if only that function was there but it's not which means trying to find higher level stuff to actually take this to can be slightly problematic but that's why steel path exists and honestly i really kind of was looking forward to this thing because the grattler is it's one of my favorite working orc guns not my favourite of all of the orc guns, but visually it just looks good, it works really well. And the Kuva one? Yeah. There is just something about the fact that this is better in pretty much every single way. If you are willing to get that, well, this one was magnetic bonus of 32.4, but if you got that to its 60% bonus, yes, it will have more damage. I'm aware that the slash, puncture and impact 
are pretty much halved on this. It has more status. It has a slower fire rate. It has twice the size magazine. It has higher crit chance. And the radial attack, yeah, the blast basically goes from 205 to 155. So on paper, this is actually worse in every single way than the standard Grattler, but it's that 32.4% added bonus, at least that mine has. Again, if you can get it up to 60, which means you may have to do this two or three times, but for obvious reasons, I... well, you can tell why I didn't, <laughs> because this thing was annoying. Of course, the new system means it's easier to get a hold of these now, because once you have gone through so many Kuvalings, you will eventually get it to drop, even if it is the very last one. Once a Kuvaling has spawned with something like the Seer, it won't come back until you have taken down a Lich, and then that resets it, so you can guarantee to get this. Or the Kuva Ayang. That, that's the probably better of the two, because there's only one of that orc gun to kind of compare this to when it comes to the Kuva based ones or the Tenet based ones. Really, they need to get on to, it's been over a year now, I'm aware, I know, it is August the 30th today, so yeah. It has been well over a year since the sisters were added and I would love to see a Tenet based arc gun. There is some that they could do, they could quite literally just do the Tenet Imperator or the Tenet... Sangas or the Tenet Phaedra, or basically any that looks slightly corpusish, which would of course put more competitors to this. As much as the Kuva Ayanga, however that is correctly pronounced, is slightly better than this, this was more fun. It's bigger, it does what it looks like it's supposed to do. And it, again, if you can get that 60% bonus on it, you basically take the normal Grattler and make it. 60% better. And that is another one of those items added to the to-do list because getting the 60% bonus for any Cooper based weapon is kind of time consuming and also annoying. But they have made it slightly better. But it's been over a year now since even this thing turned up when the sisters turned up and I'm still using it. <laughs> Yes, I know, it has been over a year since the Kuva Grattler, the target-shattering, explosive-round-flinging, <laughs> I can't believe they actually said this, max fire rate, yeah, again, the fire rate of the standard one is 6.25, this one is 5.55, but the description of it says it now reaches maximum fire rate, <laughs> pretty much instantly which is the added bonus and the reason it has the bigger magazine and the reason this thing is much better than the standard Grattler. The fire rate is better, the radius is the same, the blast damage is less, but again, that's where the bonus comes into play. On paper, it looks like it should be worse, but it's not. It is just so much better and so worth actually getting a hold of this thing. There is one more Kuva weapon I need to actually... should have done by now but need to get my hands on. We all know what that would be. So as much as I would love to continue going on about this, this video is probably way longer than it should have been, but that's just simply down to the fact this thing was annoying to get a hold of, and not being able to use it meant it, in Elite Sanctuary Onslaught, meant it was a bit of a pain to level up, but it was massively worth it. Now, it's time to move on to the Kuvazor. But well, that's a video for another time, so we'll leave this off here for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.